haven't done anything to it yet, I probably would do a little. Let's just actually do an auto. Let's see what auto does on here. Auto, auto. Nice. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, we're going to leave it with the auto, and then I'm going to take that, and I'm going to send that to haze removal. So I don't want to throw away the work that I've just done, right? I don't want to throw away, okay, I just clicked one button, but let's just say that I had spent the last half hour getting this picture looking awesome, and now I want to do something else to it. I don't want to start over. I want to send that version off to another tool to do whatever I'm going to do next, and that is what we've got here. So this is the, uh, the Frank is asking if pa raw power is non-destructive, correct? Raw power is non-destructive. Everything is non-destructive, essentially, because you can always revert and go back to your original. There's no way inside of Photos to overwrite your original file and destroy it. It's not possible. No matter what you do, the original is always there. You can always choose to revert to original. All right, so here's Affinity's haze removal tool. Um, it's really simple, right? It's not a huge, complex app like Affinity is. This is a single, simple tool. You've got a little before and after. Uh, you have two sliders here. Well, three. This is exposure correction, too. Two sliders mainly, though. Distance. How far out do you want that haze reduction to go? And look at this as I bring this down. This is so cool. It's like you can just see the fog receding. But it's not... And when I first played with this, I, go, I was thinking, okay, is it just a vertical gradient? Is that all this is? But watch as I get towards the bottom of that. It doesn't just fade out to the bottom. This... Let me make this a little bit wider. I think it'll be easier to see. This part of the mountain here is going to have less effect than this part of the valley. It's kind of crazy. But see how, see how it kind of wraps around in the valley? It's crazy cool. It's, it's like there's some kind of three-dimensional... Are you guys just seeing that big? I'm sorry. I don't remember if that was up big or not. I have a feeling it wasn't. Um, just to see that again, just in case it wasn't. See how it kind of wraps around in the valley down there? It's crazy. It's like there's some kind of, I think, 3D... Uh, bump map going on. I think they're taking a, a grayscale version of the image, turning into a bump map and treating certain parts of the image more than others, I think. I don't know, but it's remarkable. So go back into that, and as I take that haze reducer up or down, you can really see, if I go all the way up to the top, it looks kind of chunky in the sky, right? especially if I bring this all, up, all the way up. You know, it definitely doesn't look great in the sky there, but then I can back that down, find the point where maybe I just want the top of the mountains to be kind of poking through with a little bit of haze, and let's take the reduction back a little bit, and, and away you go. Pretty slick. Pretty slick tool. And then there's an exposure correction as well, if you need to over or under expose it based off of the adjustments that you've made. So very simple. All right, this is it. This is all that it does. I click Save Changes, and it's going to render that out and bring me back into Photos app. Now from here, I can continue to work. All right, so there's the version that I just did. I can continue to work in here. I can do retouching. I can you know, add some curves into this if I want to, do whatever I want. And at any point, I can go, even after it, let me, let me render out of this. Let's hit done. We're here. We're done. This is going to sync over to my iPhone and everywhere else. And then at some point, later today, a week from now, a year from now, I go into the edit mode, and I go, you know, I don't like it. Hit revert to original, and it's going to bring us back. So everything, every tool you use is always, always, always non-destructive. <clears throat> okay, let's take a look at some other ones. Let's see here. So a bunch of affinities. Um, let's do affinity miniature. Oh, I should have now I'm gonna cancel. No, too late. I'm gonna I wanna redo the magic wand on this because that actually looks pretty good. Oh, that doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Let's just get into this and work with the tool. All right, so here we go. This is Affinity's miniaturized tool. There's again very minimal amount of controls. You have an elliptical or a um, a well, it's called tilt. Um, uh, miniaturization and essentially it's doing blurring. Now this, I will admit, has been a little tricky to control. There we go. Pull that down. Let's get this line kind of following the valley in there. And then, oops, and then totally throw it off to the side. Not what I meant to do. Let's grab that again. There we go. Rotate that back around. And then take the strength up, and we're going to see some blurring outside of the edge there. And this is, the whole idea is it's meant to look like a tilt shift kind of an effect. Uh, we can add a little bit of vibrance into that, take a little clarity, add a little clarity into that center part. Ooh, that, that actually looks pretty cool right there. So that looks pretty good. Let's save it. Love it. Save that, and now we're going to have a tilt-shift type of appearance trying to make the image look like it was shot with a tilt-shift lens, the whole miniaturizing effect, which I always like to point out Vincent LaFerre kind of made famous, and I like to point that out because he's my friend and an awesome photographer. And at some point, this will finish rendering, and we'll be able to look at it. <clears throat> it's only as fast as your Mac is. Come on, baby, you can do it. This is a uh, 15-inch retina, but this is like three years old now. One of these days is going to have to upgrade, but... Ah, You've just watched a five-minute sample of a live training video. 
To see the rest of it, head to photoapps.expert slash live where you can purchase and download it or sign up as a member. Members can stream any live training video as often as they like and have access to video tips and other exclusive member bonuses. To learn more about membership, head to photoapps.expert slash member.